who still has the legs to be able to give the movement that's absolutely necessary tonight against the player role in the fight. But in the center of the ring, it's like a ridge going through the ring. And we've talked about it through the do that all through the fight. Yes, of course. And that's Broner's nerve in his past performances. Getting off to a rather, not necessarily slow start, but takes the first few rounds to see what his opponent comes on after he's seen what his opponent can do. What we saw in his last fight against Broner utilizing that Philly shell made famous by the likes of James Tony and Penny Norton. As well. Looks for the lead left hook that catches nothing but air out in the exit just past the minute mark of the second round Malinaji attacking the body Two combination there's a nice straight right hand that tags Malinaji fight focusing more on conditioning than strength for this fight as they continue to throw leather Malinaji attacking the body while Broner able to pick him off upstairs with a straight right anybody expecting a fight that wasn't interesting a fascinating fight already so far very entertaining start three punch combination coming The surprise, surprise! <laughs> Shocking, huh? Broner will win that battle because... There's a nice left hook by Broner, backing up Malinaji and actually bull rushing him into the ropes. Again, sticks the jab. Misses with the shoulder roll. Has the high guard. Right uppercut by Broner. That combination blocked by Broner, who continues to reiterate, you can't hit me. Double left hook by the challenger. attacking the body with the jab flicks one upstairs three punch now putting together the combinations and landing on Broner for the Broner defending as well for the first time all that she was able to <laughs> and of course Broner has nuclear power in both hands and Malinaji the, the number of punches strong and landed twice as many very last giving one this two round. upstairs under 30 seconds through four rounds let's see what we think ahead as the Steve Farwood and Bernard you have it even Steve or uh, why is Malinaji ahead by on your score? Oh. Al uh, he's pecking and poking but he's landing. Yep. Even I if think Malinaji's on the ropes and in the corner it's not like he's getting peppered by Broder. So this is the I mean it's very very close. There's a straight the jab that pops Malinaji's head back and Broder now getting busier right uppercut just misses jab and Broder now getting he took it but Broder's only throwing like I'll say one well, or two punches and hit not him with that right. This fight has unfolded, Bernard. Well, I'm not surprised because Paulie's wearing down and Broner's hitting with clean, hard edging ahead. And Steve and I have it uh, even, but clearly the momentum in this fight swing can never be questioned. We talked about Plenty of heart. Yeah, he fought the cutoff fight with that orb. He's coming forward. Paulie's not a big puncher. He doesn't respect Paulie punch. And this where the fight changes out. And Broner putting together a combination. Answered in kind by Malinaji, but Broner able to just absorb trying to join the likes of Roberto Duran and Roy Jones Jr. and Roberto Robert Guerrero is the only fighters to win titles in their first jab, triple, and the right uppercut. Another straight right hand backs Malinaji up. It's Broner now along the ropes. Malinaji using the jab. And Broner escapes. And now champion at the age of 23 years and 11 months <laughs> it won't be a record though should he defeat Malinaji Wilfred Benitez accomplished the triple crown at 22 years Somebody has to win oh and Malinaji's head gets pumped back with that straight right pretty well I mean, he's pushing these right hands and Broner's throwing hard punches. How do you score this fight? Well, there's a couple of scoring right hands, Bernard. And there's another right hand by Broner and Malinaji now putting up. 
Malinaji is taking so much punishment. But Malinaji continues to throw punches and bunches. He has been very active, and even in the last round, uh, Malinaji threw a lot of punches. But Broner is landing so much oh. harder punches. Well, Malinaji, though, taking the fight to Broner in the center of the ring here. There's a left that you can hear. And but Malinaji fighting valiantly off the ropes. He's landing some very nice shots. Broner looking to land one. He's thrown exactly the same amount. Oh, and there's a big left. Left hook connects. Malinaji goes to the body again. Under a minute left in the 11th round. And the welterweight champion, a prohibitive underdog, has to be pretty pleased thus far with his performance. He's, he's hanging in there against Adrian Broner. I think Broner's ahead in this fight. But and his power is the big issue. And the left hook now. Yeah, tasting more of that power. And the right hand connects by Broner. Finds himself in the corner. Broner lands the right hand. And then the double left. One to the body and one to the... With Adrian Broner, while he has controlled the number of rounds, and landed big power punches, I have problem winning four rounds in this one. Oh. And the challenger imposing their will and skill for the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Broner, the double left hook to the face. Malinaji with the jab. Another jab by the champion. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a split decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Glenn Feldman scores about 115 to 113 in favor of Adrian Broner. Judge Tom Miller sees it 115 to 113 in favor of Pauli Malinaji. And judge at ringside, Tom Shrek sees it 117 to 111 in favor of the winner and the new WBA Welterweight Champion of the World, Adrian the Problem Broner. Final thought. Any regrets about anything that went on in the pre-fights and all the news conferences? Negative. I'm good. I beat Polly. I left with his belt and his girl. Adrian, congratulations on winning the title. Polly, come on in. Hey, I'm just saying, you lost. I know, I know I lost. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on wait, wait, don't brag about taking my side piece. Don't brag about taking my side piece, though. That's my side piece. You don't get laid. All right, all right.